So what we're going to do now is start to break down how we can actually calculate a numerical value for our KC um, from some data. So we're going to start with the easiest. We're going to start with when the exam board give us equilibrium concentrations, i.e. they give us the amounts at equilibrium. We can just bang them straight into the equation and just use our calculator to work out an answer. So the the way we'll know it is it because it tells us the equilibrium concentrations are, and it tells us the amount at equilibrium of each. So how would we break the calculation down? Step one, work out a value of KC, and why not now get the units now, write them at the end of the dotted line in the exam, and so you know you've done two marks out of the maybe three or four marks available, you've got 50% of the way just before you've even started with your calculator. So can you pause the video and write an expression for KC and work out the unit? So if you've managed that, you should have written that. What would the exam board be looking for? One, that you've used square brackets. So if they're not squared, if they're round in any way, they will lose the mark. And then you can't just leave it blank and assume that the exam board know that you know there's no units. You need to state the obvious, there are no units. If you don't write it, they'll just assume you couldn't do it. Now you're going to put the numbers in. So put the right values in the right places. So we've got our divide line, we need to put the value for the concentration of hydrogen and the value for the concentration of iodine at equilibrium. And then on the bottom line, the value for the concentration of HI. And you need to make sure you get it copied correctly. And now you're going to put that in your calculator. I suggest that you use the fraction button on your calculator so that you keep the top line all nicely together and separate from the bottom line. And I want you to think while you're doing that what the appropriate number of significant figures for your answer would be. So put on your calculator and get an answer. You'll notice that I missed off something very vital. I forgot that squared, so hopefully you didn't. So you put that in your calculator. And if you do that, you should get 0, 0.0. Now, my calculator is reading 546875. But if I look at the numbers up here, that one's 3SF. That one's 3SF. That one's 3SF. So I'm going to go for three significant figures. So I'll get to 5, 4. Now, the next significant figure is the third one. And it went 6, 8. So 6, 8 gets rounded to 7. And that is giving my answer to 3SF. And we know that there were no units. So have a look at this next example and see if you can come up with an answer. And that is what you should have got. I've given my answer to two significant figures this time because that was the appropriate number. Okay, so that was the first example. Our last example in this little section is a little bit more difficult. Not much. We've still got at equilibrium the mixture contained. But this time notice that they're in moles. And KC is about concentration. So how do you convert moles to concentration? So remember that moles are volume times concentration. So concentration is moles over volume. First thing I want you to do is work out a value for each of the concentrations. So do that now. So did you remember that um, volume needs to be in decimeters cubed? Now write your expression for Kc and calculate the units you'd expect it to have. So we should have got that. And finally, put your numbers in and find out a value for Kc with those units. And I've got that and I've given it three significant figures.